Hello everyone. Today's video is about the math concept of infinite squares. As you can see on your screens, S1 is a square of side 10 cm. Another square S2 is formed by joining the midpoints of the adjacent sides of S1. This process is continued indefinitely. In this question, we have to find the sum of perimeters of all the squares such formed. This question is a mixed one. It tests your geometry basics as well as your understanding of some common sequences. And needless to say, this question is quite popular with paper setters of entrance exams. So what are you waiting for? Quickly grab a pen and a notebook and try it out. And once you are done, let's discuss. So friends, First of all, don't worry about handling infinite squares because if you know the relation between any square and the square that is formed by joining its midpoints, half the question is already done. That is because any two consecutive squares will always bear the same relationship. So let us suppose side of outer square is equal to x centimeter. This is x, side of outer square which we can call SO. O stands for outer. And now let us draw the inner square which we can call SI. I stands for inner. Now let us focus on this triangle. It's a right angle triangle and we can see that the hypotenuse of this triangle is equal to the side of the inner square which we need for our calculations, right? Since these two points are midpoints of the sides, this length is equal to half of the length of this side that is x by 2 and so is this length it is x by 2. Now in any right angle triangle we know that the Pythagoras theorem applies to the three sides. So hypotenuse will be equal to under root of a square plus b square where a and b are the lengths of perpendicular sides of the right angle triangle. Doing the calculations, we get the side of our inner square as x upon root 2 cm. If side of outer square is x cm, side of inner square is x upon root 2 cm. So a very important inference here is that the side of every subsequent square is 1 upon root 2 times the side of outer square. In this question, we have to calculate the sum of perimeters of all the squares. Now, what is perimeter? Perimeter is simply the length of boundary of a closed figure. For a square of side x centimeter, perimeter will be 4 times x. Let us quickly jot down the sides of first few squares. Side of S1 is given as 10 centimeter. Side of S2 will be 1 upon root 2 times the previous one, that is 10 upon root 2 cm. Similarly, side of S3 will be 1 upon root 2 times the previous one, that is 10 upon root 2 into 1 upon root 2, which is equal to 5 cm. And so on. Sum of perimeters of all squares is equal to 4 times the sum of sides of all squares, that is 4 into brackets 10 plus 10 upon root 2 plus 5 plus 5 upon root 2 plus so on up to infinity. Now this underlined series in brackets is a geometric progression because each subsequent term can be arrived at by multiplying the previous one with 1 upon root 2. In this GP the first term A is equal to 10 and common ratio R is equal to 1 upon root 2 and since the common ratio is less than 1 it will be a converging GP. The sum of infinite terms of a converging GP is given by the formula a upon 1 minus r. Let us apply that. Sum of perimeters of all squares is equal to 4 into brackets a which is 10 upon 1 minus common ratio which is the same as 1 minus 1 upon root 2. This we can see is a third and to simplify it, we must rationalize the denominator. Multiply a numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this, which is under root of 2 plus 1. 
So we get the final expression equal to 80 plus 40 root 2 and that's our answer. That brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, don't forget to press the like button and also do subscribe our channel IPM Leap. Here is a glimpse of other popular maths videos on our channel. So keep watching and take care. Bye-bye.